I'm Michael, a lifeguard here in this beach. And if you turn around, you'll see my friend Liam. He's also a lifeguard. And what you can see here is that it's always important that whenever you go for a swim, you take a buddy with you. Not only is it more fun, but it means that if things don't go to plan, you'll have someone there to give you a hand. The other thing you might notice is they're actually in a rip right now. How can you tell? Well, if you look towards the shore, can you notice that we're getting further away? What about if you look to the sides? Can you see that there's waves breaking over there and over that side? But where we are, there's none at all. Right now, you might start to panic and you might even try to start swimming back into shore. But as you'll see, we don't get very far. Check it out. Not only do we not make much progress towards the beach, the rip just keeps pulling us further out. We might even start to panic. You can feel your heart rate coming up, maybe even your breathing. How are you feeling now? Are you starting to feel a little bit stressed? What we're gonna do now is just stop, relax, and take a deep breath. Maybe even just float on our backs for a second, like this. Keep breathing, take our time, and now that we're feeling more relaxed, we can make our next move, which is calling for help. Can you see anyone around who might be able to give us assistance? What about the lifeguard over there on the jet ski? But it might not even be a lifeguard. It might be swimmers, surfers, maybe even someone over on the beach. And you need to attract attention any way that you can. That might mean yelling, it might mean waving like this. Essentially anything you can do to make sure that they can see you. But remember guys, the best thing to do is to stay relaxed, stay calm, and then call for help.